of the United States of America, and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, and a liberty and justice for all. Good morning, Manoa. Today is Friday, June 5th, 2020. I hope you enjoyed the Pledge of Allegiance. That was really special. Thanks for volunteering. For lunch today, you're going to have... Hopefully your parents still have some food left in their house. Or if you get it delivered, hopefully you got that from the buses. And how great that has been. Thank you again to all the food service workers and the transportation workers that have made sure that you guys all got fed all those meals. That's a lot of meals. I don't even know what the number is, but maybe we'll get that statistic sometime. The weather coming up this weekend looks pretty good. Might be a little rain here and there, but it kind of feels like June, so that's good. I know some of you have been talking about having your pools open. That's wonderful. Congratulations. Look around for the expo. Uh, you know, the expo for art is online this year, so you want to see some good artwork, and it's across the district. You can see it all right from the comfort of your couch or maybe your back porch, whatever you want it to be. So look out for that. Congratulations to our kindergarten and first grade book winner from Thursday. The winner of Dragons in Love is Finnegan Mule for Miss Todd and Miss Killian's class. Winners will receive their books by the end of the school year. <clears throat> Today's book giveaway is for students in second and third grade. The book is Pug Pals, Yay for Vacay by Flora Ahn. Sunny and Rosie's human is going on vacation and it's no dogs allowed, but they don't mind. They're headed to grandma and grandpa's house for unlimited snuggles and as many pug snacks as they can eat. But when a mystery animal destroys grandma's garden, the pugs get blamed. It's all paws on deck to clear their names. If they don't, their pugtastic vacay will be ruined. So students in second or third grade, if you're interested in this book, be sure to have your parents reply to the Manoa Elementary School Facebook page or email me at krecor at esmschools.org by 8 o'clock on Sunday and I'll announce the book winner on Monday. Good luck! What did the beach say to the tide when it came in? Long time no see. So, uh, remember last week we had some fifth graders that shared some memories about Manoa and their thoughts as they were leaving? We're going to continue with that now, and uh, here we go. Hi, Manoa. The last six years have been so much fun. Book Cooks, Junior Crew, Robotics, and Manoa's were messages. I have so many memories, and I'm so grateful for all my teachers, present and past. Mr. Z, thanks for making lunch fun with Lunch Club. Couch Club was cool, too. Shout out to you, Mrs. Allen. You made fifth grade memorable, even through distance learning. The gifts you put in our slides were fun to see. And I love how you set up video chats with the author for French Apply. I want you to know you are an awesome teacher and I'll miss you in fifth grade. Thank you everyone for making my time at Manoa memorable. Go Manoa! One of my favorite memories of Manoa is when I went to the one room school house in fourth grade. Thank you to the fifth graders. That was, and, and anybody else that shared, that was just so great to have your memories of, of Manoa. You guys are really special and we're really going to miss you, so thank you. Hey Manoa, do you remember the author Daniel Drew Miller who visited us earlier this year? Well, he graciously agreed to visit us today via Zoom meetings. He is not only an author, but he also illustrates and publishes his own books. And sometimes he even travels with a monster in a box. How cool is that? Be sure to check in with your teachers today for the meeting. And thank you, Daniel June Miller, for visiting us again. We're so excited. So the junior crew is actually looking for new members. So Mrs. Navager and Mrs. Bonaparte have put together a video that they're going to share with the fourth grade teams. So look out for that. We'd love for people to join junior crew. It's a really special thing. And you've seen a lot of things on the videos here and the pictures in the news and on Twitter and Facebook of all the things the junior crew has done. So, you know, be really proud of them. And uh, thank you for the people that make that happen. That's great. So thank you to everyone that's made this distance learning possible. 
what a great school year we've had. We had some wonderful memories at school, and then we transitioned to this online learning space, and you guys have been so incredible. But thank you so much also to your parents, to the PTO that still put things together to make it special, to all of you that put up with your siblings and, and worked hard and came online, to the tech department that put, put everything together and made sure that the internet worked and made sure that we could all access the things we needed to do, to the custodians that kept our school clean and had to do a lot of moving around and shuffling, and let's thank Mr. Gerst. I mean, come on, I think he's been available 24-7. He pretty much sends us emails at 10.45 at night, three or four times a week, and usually on Sunday night when everybody else is putting their feet up to relax after a hard weekend, He's starting the week off and getting us ready with some exciting stuff. So, Mr. Gersh, thank you for all that. And thank you to all of the people in the school district that really helped make this happen. It's been quite the year, and, and we're just glad that we were able to say that we continued learning and we fought on. And we remember me, Mr. Bailey, personally, to my crew of my Manoa's Morning Messages team. You have been phenomenal. You've come through online. You came through offline. You guys have done any task I asked you to do, whether it was to go down and chase Mr. K's fish, or to hunt down some parents that might have been helping with the PTO thing, or to try to interview teachers that may have been more shy. And you know, Mrs. Kane, we're still looking for you, and maybe those fifth graders will get you somehow, but we love highlighting all the great things that are happening in Manoa, and we hope to continue to do that next year. And uh, fifth graders, if you want to come back and visit, we'll have you on. You know, just make sure you give us a warning so that we don't scare us when you come back and you're all big and stuff. Because, you know, once you get past fifth grade, you start growing taller than me and it gets a little wild. But thank you, all of you. Every single one of you, you've been great. And uh, for the founding members that are now in older schools, if you're still watching this, thank you to you for getting this going. You know, I've been, I've been up late at night. Sometimes I've been getting some... Um, you know, interactive time with my with my television studio here, um, and I decided that I wanted to send you guys off with some memories of Manoa. And my buddy Frank Sinatra was giving me some advice on how I could possibly share that experience with you. So, would you join with me as I look back on this year at Manoa um, with my buddy Frank Sinatra for? Uh, to close the online school that we just opened and still when we look back our smiles return with memory certain we've had a school of love positivity project Dragon Dragons and Manoa Manoa L we did it our way COVID it changed our course but persevere you know we did that
Yes. Hello, hello. It was all. So, since it's our last Manoa's message of the year, one last time I say to you, that's our show for today. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to read. One more week of school. We'll see you on the Manoa's messages next year. And one last time, everybody together, remember that other people matter at Manoa Elementary. Go, Manoa!